Welcome to PC Gaming Tech Summary. I'm your host, Gamer. And today we look at what Z790 motherboard should you get? Or should you get one? What's the difference between Z690 and Z790 for the 12th gen and 13th gen Intel? Generation of processors, central processing unit, CPUs. Yes. Well, I found a few things that are a bit interesting. So in this video, I'm just going to focus on those things. Um, and I have some pics of the brand new 4090. Yes, the Asus Strix Republic of Gamers. And the tough, the tough, 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 yes. So we're going to start with that. We're going to have a look at those. And then we'll zip into those uh, motherboards and have a chat. Sit right back, have a cup of coffee, and we'll get into it. This is the Tough Gaming GeForce RTX 4090. It's 3.6 slots. Up on the top, it's black, hard to see, but this is the 16 pin connector. And uh, we've got 3.6 slot graphics card. Um, it is shorter than the Strix, it, but it's greater than 340 millimeters. It's got a dual bio switch and 35% more cooling content area compared to the Tough Gaming GeForce 3090. And here it is, the Strix ROG Republic of Gamers 4090, okay. And Asus has Patented, patented, heat pipes integrated into the vapor chamber. Oh, for better cooling. And the ADC-10 aluminum or aluminum, which is a high grade alloy, is used on the back plate. Both graphics cards should come with a GPU anti-sag brace. The Strix is a 3.5 slot. Now what I've done is taken the specs of both chipsets, the Z690 and the Z790, put them together and look for differences. So everything's pretty much the same until we get here where there's a total of one more of uh, the USB 3.2, 2 times 2, 20 gig per, gigabit per second. Okay, so for the 790, you can add one more of those in. And the 790 does not have the Optane because Optane has been shut down. Optane memory in Intel is no longer manufacturing that. All right, now what I've done here is I have put uh, the Strix E690 and the 790 together. Now the 690 actually does have uh, the uh, Gen 5 M.2, okay? If we look at the uh, ITX board on the right over here, the 690 does not, okay? But the 790 does have the 5, the 5th Gen. M.2 slot. Now, this is what I found that was so interesting. And basically, I was curious about the Gen 5, Generation 5 
M.2 connectors. Okay, so um, there weren't very many at all in the 690s. Um, and um, we looked at the, uh, the difference between the chipsets and there's really no difference. And so I found a few things here. So the, the first cell is Asus ROG Strix Z790E Gaming Wi-Fi. Okay, um, pre, it's, go, it's on pre-order on Newegg, uh, 500 bucks. It's got one Gen 5, four Gen 4s. Now, if we look at the, the 690, the Z690, moving over, um, the same uh, name for the board, except it's a 690, um, you find that it has one Gen 5 and 4 Gen 4, so that's good. Now, if you get the 690, it's fourth, gonna be 430, or I've seen a price for 430, I should say, okay? So, um, that's something to keep in mind. Um, not much of a difference uh, for those two as far as the M.2. Now, the next one, the Maximus the Z790 Hero, okay, so, um, the Z790 is fine, all right, that's 630 pre-order, one Gen 5, four Gen 4s. And now if we go over to the 690, now this is the Hero. Now you need to, if you're gonna buy this, you need to get one manufactured in 2022, okay? Um, and if you forget, well, when you get the board, you gotta check the serial number with the recalled uh, ones on the ASUS website, okay? So it's very important. Um, there were some, allegedly some capacitors that were installed uh, backwards, which, which cause, causes a big hazard. So you do not want to use the 2021 boards that have been affected. Now, because of that publicity, the bad publicity, I believe that it has caused the price to come down. So it's only 450 compared to 630. So there's a big difference there. And that has one Gen 5 and four Gen 4s. Now we move down to the MSI Ace, the 790. Don't have a pre-order price. One Gen 5, four Gen 4s. And if we look at the 690, no. It does not have a Gen 5 M.2. Same name, but no Gen 5 M.2. Now, let's go down to ASRock. The Steel Legend Wi-Fi. Only 290 for the pre-order. Okay. Oh, and we've got one Gen 5 M.2. Oh, my gosh. That is the... The lowest price motherboard I've found so far, it's got that Gen 5 M.2, and it has four of the Gen 4s. Now, if we look at the Z690 version, 220, no Gen 5. Let's move on. The ASRock Dike G790, okay, 480 bucks. Pre-order, one Gen 5, four Gen 4s, and uh, the 690 version, uh, no Gen 5 M.2. I, reading this, I only saw two Gen 4s and one uh, Gen 3 on the Tai Chi there for the 690. Now, moving on to the Gigabyte, the Z790 Arrow G, 300 bucks, only 300 bucks, one Gen 5 and four Gen 4s. Now, this board is designed for content creators, okay? So it's worth at least having a look at that. Now, it definitely can be used for gaming as well. I mean, there shouldn't be anything stopping you from using it from gaming. Um, you can use it for both, um, but uh, it's worth having a look at. So I will go into a deeper dive on that board in a moment, on that board and on the Steel Legend. Okay, so, the Z690 Gigabyte Aero G 220 and no Gen 5. Three Gen 4s. Now, the Aorus Master, the 790, has one Gen 5 
and four Gen 4s. But if we look at the Z690 version, oh, no Gen 5, and that's the master. Okay, so that is 370 bucks. All right, here we have the ASRock Z790 Steel Legend Wi-Fi. And it is looking good. It's nice to see a big heat sink on there. So we'll have a look uh, real quick at the back panel connectors, the I.O. And we've got some USB 2s and some 3.2 Gen 1 ports, four of those. Uh, and uh, we've got USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type A port in red and some type C's there. Now we're gonna have a look at the full specs here of the motherboard. Got the 2.5 gigabit LAN, of course. Wi-Fi 6E. Bluetooth. Okay, and here we've got the M.2. We have a total of five of them. And here is the Gen 5, the number two slot. And we've got eight SATAs. Wow. Different uh, connectors as well. This is just a summary of the specs. Now we're gonna move on to the Gigabyte Z790 Aero G for content creators and gamers. Here is uh, the back panel connectors for the I.O. Got a couple USB ports, some 3.2 Gen 1 ports, four of them. And we've got uh, two of the uh, 3.2 Gen 2 Type A ports. I believe those will be 20 gigabits per second. We've got a couple We've got a couple of the uh, USB-C's as well. Now we'll have a look at the full specs of the Gigabyte Aero G Z790.
Here we have the M.2s and four SATA connectors as well. So the number one connector is the fifth gen M.2 slot. Gen 4. Got your internal I.O. connectors. Thanks for joining us here on PC Gaming Tech Summary. And if you'd like to see more videos on a wide variety of technology subjects, all you have to do is subscribe and you'll get notified when those videos are ready. Don't forget, you'll be seeing me in the next video.